Hey, Nick. Hey, Chase. It's that time again. What time is it? Time for Fuck, Fuck This Place! And then I have to I have to always explain to people it's like, have you ever seen The Rock's Tale? It's like that. Yeah. It's like commentary. It's fantastic movie, by the way. I've not seen a lot of movies. That's one thing that remains consistent about me <laughs> <laughs> i keep not seeing movies i mean i've definitely seen more movies you know i'll say that and people will get upset at me and then eventually they'll find out like oh i've seen like half of the movies that they care about but <laughs> i definitely have not seen the other half of everybody else's group. have you um have you seen the frighteners nope okay Neither. um that's a that's a movie that um no one remembers and then is actually pretty fucking good like that like holds up it's like a campy scary movie and it's with uh michael j fox and super good Mm. it's based on real life serial killers check it out that's my endorsement (laughs) of the movie the frighteners (laughs) that's great um i guess i should intro us i don't know um (laughs) hi welcome to uh fuck this place the podcast about jobs uh with chase and nick my name is chase my name is nick and with us today uh one of my oldest friends in comedy fantastic comic mr Chaz hawkins Chaz, welcome to the show hey everybody or at least you too. How's it going? 100%. <laughs> How going you doing, good. man? Good, good, man. Just good, good, um, good. hanging in here. Yep, I hear it. I hear it. Um, me and uh, me and Chase have made this joke a few times now about how it looks like 100%. all three of us are in the same house. We're all in <laughs> different rooms in the same house. Everybody who rents. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it looks like I'm in a safe house. Like I don't, there's nothing to describe or Correct. discern where um, I'm at. It's just like yeah. it's by a window, but yeah, yeah. maybe that's just yeah. a picture of a window. Um, I have uh, indicators. I have indicators of personality just out of frame, but <laughs> yeah, I, just, I frame this to make it look like my apartment is not just one room. <laughs> this is it this is the whole place behind me but it looks like it's just a small part of a bigger place yeah you're absolutely right you're very right um, you can see you can see a lot of your apartment in your picture it's like oh there's the kitchen oh there's yeah, that yeah, hallway yeah, there's... yeah yeah see it's Nick like you can see great. you can see behind me that's the couch mm-hmm. in front of the couch the bed <laughs> <laughs> so that's how yeah. it goes around in these parts that's um, great so, Good. That's all. Um, well, I feel like we should before. I know we know normally normally we jump right into uh, our first segment, but I, do, I would like to. I feel like uh, I didn't realize that like I have COVID brain because I literally have coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing fine, Chaz. Thank you. But I feel yeah, like I, I was... should we should say it on the podcast because <laughs> I have we haven't made that announcement yet. Um, yes. And Nick's parents are having a COVID bout as well. So yes. you know, oh. COVID's coming home. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, the yeah. Fuck This Place podcast. Uh huh. Yeah, we but I'm just saying, a, if I forget or, something, Nick, like feel free <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> to yeah. tell me like this uh-huh. is the time to do that thing mm-hmm. now because I remember yeah. things. I remember uh-huh. things, uh, and I'm on day 14 uh-huh. of symptoms, so uh, it's been relatively mild. Mm-hmm. Be not concerned for 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 Chase, but his mind is about 90 percent. We'll say for sure. Well, uh, this evening I'll send you a text about the frighteners. Just so okay, great. <laughs> An important reminder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I um, had wondered about that just because, you know, the podcast got delayed a little bit. Uh, 100%. Oh, week. yeah, yeah. For the listeners, we skipped a week. We skipped we a week because sure Chase did. was sick. And you won't notice because Chase and Nick are thorough until we cover we our do bases. our work ahead of time. But in the post-production world, yeah, oh, we missed, we skipped a week. Mm-hmm. Um, I have so wondered. Thank you. <laughs> I, I thank wondered because, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, go on. <laughs> I was going to say because you – um. You guys had did a, the podcast with Brian Yang not too long ago. It's like, I sure did. Can you get COVID through a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> man, if you can, yeah. and we're the super spreader. Oh and man, I, it's like I don't know if I should do we, this. <laughs> we are we are giving uh, we are giving COVID to people a hundred people at a time every week. <laughs> <laughs> and like two at two a time on youtube yes <laughs> um it is literally zero to two mm. um so that's great uh, uh my but, yeah uh, go ahead say, my uh my parents both have it they're both very very sick and yeah, I, not, like, not good i asked my dad uh like how he was feeling and he just texted me back coronavirus is weak as fuck <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and i don't know I, I don't like know he's trying to say that that it's made him weak as fuck, but I just like the idea that there's just utter defiance even in its face <laughs> to call it weak as fuck right to its face even when it's made you so sick. <laughs> yeah, he squared up to a bar fight that yeah. <laughs> does not look good. Um, 
Chaz, our first segment on every podcast is a segment we'd like to call Fuck This Place? Question mark, where we decide if we would work somewhere or not by looking at local Craigslist postings. Uh, so we actually looked up a few Craigslist posts from Sacramento, which is where you currently live and or from. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Originally from Rockford, but uh, work history begins in Sacramento, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Rockford, sweet, Illinois, sweet. Sacramento, California. Sweet, sweet sack. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what I'm going to do is read the three job titles, and you're going to decide the one you do not want to look at, and we're going to look at the other two. Okay. Uh, so the f- so here, here come the job titles. First job title is Word Help! Exclamation point, exclamation point. It's all, all caps. Uh, second one is funeral director's assistant slash funeral arranger. And then the last one is puppy sitter while we're at a clothing free resort near Sacramento. So which one do you not want to look at? Word help, funeral director, or puppy sitter for this clothing free free resort situation? I think uh, word help. That's, that's seems yeah. dumb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> either they want help with Microsoft Word, or they just need help and they don't know how to say it. And or they like way. they can't remember the word taxi or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like I, it's a word I need help with. <laughs> I just cannot figure this out. Okay, let's um, let's take a look at the funeral director first because we know puppy sitter is going to be a nightmare. So uh, the again the title is funeral director's assistant slash funeral arranger in Sacramento, uh, and the text begins: Sacramento-based funeral home slash uh, sorry not slash dash funeral director's assistant slash funeral arranger entry level position. We have full time positions available. Okay, starts off at thirteen an hour. All right. Job duties include, but are not limited to, phones, filing, faxing, greeting, assist with funeral services, help filing death certificates, assist with removals slash transferring of human remains to and from hospitals, Uh, coroner facilities, nursing homes, mortuaries, and residences. I really feel like Mm. they buried the lead here. Is there is there anything that you don't have to do? (laughs) Yeah. 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 yeah, it's like um, how they tried to like slip in moving dead bodies, like it was like changing out the soap <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, they're like it's just phones and filing, and yeah, typical mm. office stuff. Uh, can you carry a two hundred pound body? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also appreciate that um, that we have we have first we have a list of, of of things that you're supposed to do. You know, phones, filing, faxing, removals, and then it turns into a list of places that the bodies come from and go to: <laughs> hospitals, <laughs> corner facilities, nursing homes, mortuaries, and, and residences. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I just I just really appreciate that it is very obvious that they tried to like bury the lead not just bury the lead but like really embed it but there's not enough other work to embed it in (laughs) like they started with normal work they get to the bodies and they do not have any other work (laughs) to like say oh and also you know like you could put greeting at the end or something you know or it's like (laughs) but they weren't smart (laughs) enough to do that they were just like "Ah, let's just tell them Hi, meet this dead guy filing. Yeah, can you take this body over? <laughs> File it. <laughs> it's like, or like, like you walk in in the morning and there's like a dead guy on the ground. You're like, oh, night crew, they're so lazy. They never get this. <laughs> Leave us all their work. Um, I do agree, though, that it's also, it's, you know, in addition to just the act of having to move dead bodies, it is a bit of a red flag uh, when you have an assistant position and you mention this many different tasks. Uh, <laughs> you know, I know that one of them is for sure dead bodies, but even if it was just a similar sized list, uh, you just know that there's no boundaries to this position mm-hmm. in any way. You, but do you think that they're like going to like just also be like, hey, grab me a coffee? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. That's what I mean. I think that, yeah, that I completely, yes. I think that you're this person's helper, but mainly you're moving bodies. Do you, do you think you could push back on that? Be like, no, that wasn't in the, that wasn't in the, yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just, coffee. I'm just here for the phones and the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think, I don't, you know, I know that a lot of assistant positions are kind of a catch all. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, my guess is, again, I think that mostly you're moving a bunch of bodies just yeah, bodies bodies yeah. bodies uh-huh. and then every now and then they're like well, well you're on the way can you go mm-hmm. to jack in the box <laughs> <laughs> like you're coming back from wherever 
Okay, so there's a few more uh, lines of actual text, and then that's actually the post. So requirements, a professional attitude, clean yeah. and neat appearance, driver's mm -hmm. license, clean driving record of at least five years. Mm -hmm. You will also be required to, to have a live scan background check if hired. I assume mm -hmm. it's like a brand. So this is like a, um, <clears throat> it's like a professional attitude, clean. So it means like no making fun of the dead bodies. Don't come into <laughs> work dirty before the dead bodies. Make sure to have a driver's <laughs> license so you can drive dead bodies around. Yeah. Uh, live scan background check. Make sure you don't want to have sex with the dead bodies. hundred <laughs> percent. That is what that background check is about. Um, so like a, a, a zombie that would be the most qualified can really not apply. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a live scan only. Um, <laughs> So, and that, that, that's really, do they just slap you and see if you react? Um, <laughs> so, okay, so then the post finishes. Uh, bilingual, Spanish, and English. I appreciate you clarifying the two languages. I yeah, actually do yeah. appreciate The two that. languages, dead body speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Latin, maybe Latin. Yeah, yeah, Latin. <laughs> oh, for sure. There's Latin in there. Greek. Um, please send a resume and availability subject line in email, Sacramento FD assistant, funeral arranger. Mm -hmm. And then conversation reiterates, well, I would say actually doesn't reiterate $13 an hour, which is what it says, but in the conversation box, it says determined upon interview, entry-level pay. So, <laughs> so they really mean as low as we can go. So my guess is it's actually not, maybe, I mean, maybe if it is minimum wage 13 an hour, maybe that's yeah. the number maybe in Sacramento. Maybe that's what it would be. I think so. Um, if it could be twelve fifty though, they're going to make it twelve fifty for you. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I just like, yeah, just how cheap can we get people to move dead guys for is yeah. what this company's looking for. And it is, it is full time, which I don't know what that actually means because what they are not mentioning is benefits, you know, medical and anything like that. So it's not uh -huh. like, is it full time or is it more like a lot of part time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, th this is like a lot of work for not a lot of incentive. And it's work yeah. all over yeah. the place. <laughs> it is some wild work. <laughs> it's like in and out, I think is 15 an hour. <laughs> yeah. And there's yeah, like no dead bodies. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and like there's no mention of French fries in this ad at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, you know, like I, you know, we all know what the rush at in and out is like. Mm -hmm. um, rush at the funeral assistant gig. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have too many bodies in the van. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. Like I, for, that's what I think. Nah, I'm going to, I'm going to step off this small business rant. Go on. Nick. <laughs> I, I, was, I was just going to say, I was going to say, I would imagine that it's nothing to do. And all of a sudden move right now. Sure. <laughs> like, yeah. Right now. Got to move this body. It, yeah, just, never, it just went down. Yeah. And, and I mean, with this job, it's kind of like, like how far off are you from just being the funeral director? <laughs> <laughs> It's like it, yeah. it's like one of those like the boss grooms his replacement, you know, like a mob movie. Or like the Santa like Claus. Just, yeah. Um. <laughs> this is also like the job title for like Ghost Rider. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's yeah. like he grooms you warrior. and it's just like, yeah, now you have to banish people to hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, right. I was going to say like, what are the odds you think at some point they try to get you to kill someone? Like <laughs> just, just to make the money. Like, like they're like, mm -hmm. hey, you like we're expecting this old person in this nursing home to die very soon. Mm -hmm. Could you speed it up a little bit? By the end of the just, month. Yeah. Uh, fiscal so year. It's just like, I am. Um, I'm going to say, no, I don't want to do this. It yeah. feels, it feels quietly very dangerous. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm also going to say no. I mean, from the second that Chaz said in and out, <laughs> reminded me that in and out pays 15 an hour. Um, you know, I feel like there's better prospects, uh, <laughs> but also really and truly because um, I, you know, I, I'm going to step just a tiny bit back on my small business uh, rant. I've worked for lots of small businesses before, and they're always chaos. Like, you, you know, as well funded as you can think they are, if it's if it's a small team, people are asking you to do shit you should never be doing. And I'm fine with doing that for like, you know. No, a tourism company or or like a bunch of mangoes you know but for <laughs> for whatever happens with the dead bodies i don't i don't want to i don't want to like blur the lines of what i could or should be doing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and then i mean with the job title it's kind of open to where it's just like yeah it kind of says you might have to take dead bodies and put them in homes like yeah, that, you know, I don't want to go. Like, I don't want to go to somebody's house. I don't want to do that with a mango. Uh -huh. I don't want to do that. Yeah. with a dead uh -huh. body. Uh huh. Top two things you don't want to do that with. Yeah. yeah. 
So <laughs> we're going to say. So I think we're, I think this is a three for three. Fuck this place. Yeah. yeah, yeah fuck this place. place. All right. Great. Well, post number two, humdinger title is puppy sitter while we are at clothing free resort near Sacramento. And I know well, before we get into this text, I want to talk for just a half second about the title. I love the title has absolutely no uppercase letters. It is, <laughs> it is trying to be so casual <laughs> uh-huh. about everything they just mentioned. Uh-huh. They also misspell Sacramento. Sacramento. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And then it's immediately spell it. <laughs> <laughs> immediately yeah, spell it right. Two words letter. Later. Still no uh, uppercase, but it does. Um, you're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. That is. Uh, that I wonder if that's a real place. It's like, yeah. oh, that's that's where the crack is in Sacramento, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, um, yeah, we'll I love it. how laid back these people seem to be already. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, laid that's back. What I'm saying. I just, I, know, I feel like they're really trying to downplay whatever awful thing they're for sure about to ask you to do. Okay, <laughs> and it's all one paragraph, so we'll work our way through. Um, okay, so the ad starts. We have small, we have small, lovable. Multi poo pup doggy zen super chill and friendly and need a female to watch her while we go to Laguna del Sol clothing optional resort near Sacramento. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> what I we got me. here? Uh-huh. <laughs> So tell me about your day. It's It's a mall. It's uh, okay. Okay. Let's just, let's just back up here. We have small, lovable, multi poo pup doggies in super chill and friendly. I think that's our first phrase here. Is, is, are they describing the doggy as Zen or is his name Zen? Because again, that could be his name and they don't capitalize it. I think you're absolutely Mm. right. I think Mm. that, I think that the dog's name could be Zen for sure, regardless whether they named the dog Zen mm-hmm. or not. They or the think dog the named dog... himself Zen. <laughs> the dog named himself Zen. I think that they're trying to give off, again, the chillest vibe you possibly can about mm-hmm. a dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, a a mal- multi poop up. Mal- uh, I think it's maybe like a Maltese, maybe? Or, or maybe. like a, I, I don't know. Uh, mixed dog. with poodle? Mixed with, yeah. There we mixed go. Up. Multi poo. <laughs> they could also be like eight dogs. That could be eight dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. It could be multi poo is what they're yeah, saying. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, so they, so it is a her, the dog, and we'll just call her Zen from now on. I feel like that's mm. fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, apparently they're going to Laguna del Sol Clothing Optional Resort near Sacramento, which anybody uh, – we have two NorCal people here. Anybody never, heard of this? Never heard of it. No. Not at all. Cool. Uh-huh. So we, it may or may not be real. We can Google it in a minute, but I think we should just mm-hmm. let that simmer. Uh-huh. Uh, then it says, we can't have her at the pool and we are looking to tan, et cetera. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I see yeah. the problem. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so looking for a cool person to watch her and walk her, play, et cetera, at the resort. <laughs> um, I, I'm just gonna keep reading. I don't know what else. I don't know what to say to that. We this would be for about five to nine hours per day for a couple days. Five <laughs> wait, <laughs> to nine <laughs> hours is a long time to for you be, to be. I, I just don't understand the situation. I think we just have to keep reading. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Just real quick. Five to nine hours to be walking around naked. <laughs> like what they need. They need nine hours of naked walking around time while you watch their dog. <laughs> it just seems that five to nine hours is a very unreasonable. Like, let's just admit, again, let's remove all context uh-huh. and just say that your shift at Subway sandwich shop is five to nine hours. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you that from the get go. Like, bro, you should be able to tell me how long some. I can understand eight to nine hours. I can understand seven to nine hours. Mm-hmm. See, five hours. Yeah. There's a big fucking difference between five and nine hours of work. Yeah, because they're like, they're like, uh, you're at the five hour mark, and then you're like, you know what? We're actually gonna double your day. We're only Literally, double, it. <laughs> actually, double minus another one four hour. more hours. <laughs> um, so I'm just saying, labor laws. Okay, um, you would have to stay at the nude resort. Okay. Okay. Which we would get you a room, so you would have your own space for overnight. All right. I have a hard time believing that for some reason. Mm-hmm. We are upscale, drama free. I. 
I don't think so. Nah. That's true. <laughs> There's no fucking way that's I true. I don't believe that. <laughs> we are upscale, drama feel, drama free, amazing, and good looking married man and woman. Mm-hmm. There we go. There yep. we go. And have yeah. done this before, have okay, you? Guys, that's, how, that's how humans talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking married man and woman. <laughs> uh, yeah, like you come into a restaurant, uh, yeah. and it's just like a uh, table for two. Yeah, table for good looking married man and woman. Yeah. And we've As done this before, see. so yeah. don't be worried. We've yeah. definitely yeah. done this before. <laughs> like, uh-huh. we've been to Applebee's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you've done this before, <laughs> what happened to the person you did it with? <laughs> <is my question. laughs> Where are they buried? Um, okay, please let us know more and send pics and experience <laughs> or <already. laughs> Come go. on, dude. <laughs> you know how you read ahead and then you get in trouble? It's like, oh, okay, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's what it was uh-huh. all about. He's like, man, I got to write this paragraph so I get some nudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, and honestly... If, if it is truly just a ploy to get nudes so far, mm-hmm. you know, in, in the history of this podcast, which is not a particularly long history, but nonetheless, we're on Craigslist a lot. Definitely the best and longest <laughs> intro yeah, to yeah. nudes. I the mean, most elaborate re- nudes requests. We've typically, gotten, it's yes. a weird photographer, you know, mm-hmm. or a weird artist. But this person is going really roundabout. Uh-huh. Um, Bringing his dog into the fold. Bringing a dog in, which is unfair to say uh-huh. the least. We will pay one hundred twenty-five dollars per day. A big difference if you're working five hours and you get one hundred twenty-five dollars versus nine, nine hours. hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Plus, oh, here this is good. You get a free vacation. False. A hundred percent false. <laughs> uh, fuck you for even thinking that this is a vacation for me. You're paying me to be there. Plus, you get a free vacation if this works out. We do travel a lot. Do you travel a lot? Seems mm-hmm. like a bad time to do that. And yeah. seek a good, fun, sweet person to be with the pup and us. Must be okay with nude recreation since for sure it's a clothes free place. <laughs> Man. For sure. Uh huh. Um, so, th- yeah, this is also like the longest way to try to get in having a three way with a stranger. 100%. And um, where, where does the dog go during this three-way? <laughs> there's, there's another room. Um, he's, he's, he's zen and super chill, so it's like, yeah. he's not going to yeah. be tripping off of it. He's not weird about uh, us fucking in front of him and fucking strangers in front of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's so, it is like, it's, it is so obvious that these people are going to, at the minimum, try to fuck the person who is taking this job <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the best case scenario is mm-hmm. that they're just going to try and it's not going to work and they're like okay mm-hmm. it's it's cool we're chill we're not going to hire you next time we'll just put the craigslist ad up again yeah um but i just think that if you are like i just think that every category of what they want there's a better way to do it on craigslist Sure. Yeah. That yeah. no one would would fault you for. Like if mm-hmm. if, if you want a three way, there's a section for that on Craigslist, and mm-hmm. everybody's like, "Yeah, we know this is three way section." If you want a dog sitter, again, way better way to get that done. If you yeah. want to go on vacation a lot and and bring a fucking weirdo, like, just say it. Well, do do you think it's weirder to pitch it like we need a dog sitter? Underlying we want to have sex with you or is it weirder to pitch it i want to have sex with you by the way i need a dog sitter <laughs> like those are both kind of a weird way because i agree with you totally but it's like sure. how would i phrase this <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know how you go about it because I, I mean like, that's a good point and then like i mean at first it sounds like they need you to watch the dog while they go there but then it's like no you got to go there with them 100 so, yeah. yeah why are you- <laughs> it's it's like- two days it is literally two days yeah, just for that fact alone, what are you doing? I mean, it, it's like it's like weird. Do you do you think? Okay, I think this couple goes and they try to look to hook up with maybe yeah. other couples or whoever. Oh, for sure. And when they fail, they try to come back and have sex with you. That's what I think. <laughs> that's why I think that yeah, yeah, they're like yeah. leaving it open ended. Like the, Like you know, the mm-hmm. wife's like after five hours, like let's just go home. And then the guy's like, no. And then four more hours, <laughs> or they're trying to trick someone and have sex with them. And sure. then and yeah. then they give up and they try to have sex with the babysitter. Yeah. 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 These people suck, so I don't. Oh, these like, people for sure suck. Yeah. You know, I, I wouldn't wanna. I wouldn't wanna serve these people 
a meal if I was in customer Absolutely. service. Totally agree. So I don't want to fucking – the fact yeah. that they, they say we are upscale, the biggest red flag uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> of and, all time, and especially also, if you're so upscale. Oh, so, and also no one – like this is a hacky joke, but no one who's ever claimed to be drama-free – has ever been. Yeah. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. What they want, what they mean is, we want you to shut the fuck up when we yeah, say crazy yeah. shit. <laughs> uh, we want you to keep the dog calm when you hear us screaming at each other through the yes. wall next door. Correct. <laughs> correct. Correct. It's drama free for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Yes. I get yes. to do whatever the fuck I want because I'm paying you $125. Yeah. Because what, I'm paying you. What, what type of resume could you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do really want they do want to, uh picks and uh, experience a resume yeah um i've They're been like, oh, I, I, i've been held captive before so yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think i'd be really good for this job. <laughs> I, uh, I have experience grooming dogs and here's a link to my Pornhub account so yeah. <laughs> i think that's fair i mean obviously this is a no um yeah i'm gonna go no yeah i mean just i uh, you know not just fuck this place, but fuck these people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I feel bad for your dog. Yeah. I bet you your dog's fucking not chilling. Your dog barks at fucking everything. Yeah. He's not zen at all. He's actually <laughs> sack crack remento. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why is his hair all wiry? <laughs> <laughs> it is fun. It is fun, like, throughout the, the journeys of this podcast to, like, be able to see a post uh, that's so obscure like that and you immediately go like, I know these fucking people. <laughs> oh, I've been down the nudist take care of my dog road before. <laughs> <laughs> Spend so much time in like the depths of horrible Craigslist that it's just like, I know these fucking scumbags. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's going on, guys? Wanted to remind you that you can text the podcast anytime you want. Night or day, whenever the hell you want. It's fine. It's uh, The number is 470-BAD-JOBS. The actual numbers are 470-223-5627. That's the number. So yeah, anytime you want. Like I said, middle of the night, whenever. We don't got jobs right now. Whatever's going on with you is going on with us. I mean, absolutely. Maybe you want, maybe you still have a job and it's like shitty. You can tell us about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you don't have a job and it, was, and it was shitty before. Maybe you're getting one of those weird like uh, temperature forehead checks right now. For and sure. And you want to pull out your phone and just say, you know what, fuck you guys. I'm going to text 470-BAD-JOBS. 470-223-5627 is the number. Uh, that is the number, and you can also call us uh, if you want. But I mean, whatever. It's it's your choice. That's the point here. Okay. Uh, so, Chaz, tell me, what is the first job you ever had? So the first job I ever had, I worked at um, Macy's mm. in the women's shoe department. Oh, uh, that that place sucked. Uh-huh. Dick. How old were you when you started there? Um, I was in high school, so I was probably like. 16 years old. Hold on a second. You worked in the women's shoe department. Yeah. Um, I know that, like, you know, gender is a spectrum. Um, and, you know, like anybody can work anywhere. But, like, were you, who else was working in the shoe department? Because you're a dude. And I would imagine that you don't have a ton of, like, great um, shoe suggestions for people. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, so what it, what it was is there's not that many positions at that job that are commission mm. um, uh-huh. so it's like you make more money than just the hourly if you're a shoe dude yeah because that you you make commission off the shoes you sell all right but it you yeah you you, you know you don't know shit about women's shoes <laughs> <laughs> do they offer any training as my guess is no i mean it's like on the job training so sure. they're just like hey you know like when a woman wants these shoes then you bring out some $150 ones too, um, just to kind of like pressure her into getting them or, Mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean that, like there's so many reasons why that job was one of the worst is just because like some of the women that would come up to you, it's like, I'm a, I'm a 16 year old kid, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's exactly what you are. Yeah. So it's like, they'd come up to me, like one lady came up and she's like, yeah. So, I saw these shoes on Oprah. <laughs> and you're like, and me I, too. <laughs> and I want them. And it's just like, 
bitch, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. I'm not watching Oprah. I'm 16 years old. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually work here while Oprah is on TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm here at four o'clock on weekdays. So, <laughs> um, um, well, why? Why do you? Did you? Uh, did your parents want you to get a job, or do you just want your own money? Why'd you pick? Uh, why'd you start looking for one? Um, like wanting my own money, and then like at the uh, you know at the time my mom had worked at Macy's and like in, in a totally different department, but yeah. it was like, she had connections. So it was like easy to get a job there. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. I, I started yeah. in the summer and then it was just one of those things where it's just like, I I could still work it during school. I just would, you know, have hours after school's over. Right. Mm -hmm. Did you go straight to shoes? Just straight to shoes. They were just yeah, like, this guy, he's a shoe guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the only department that I worked at. I worked there for a very fucking long time. It's probably like like six years. <laughs> man, you you grew up under women's shoes. <laughs> you went from a boy to a man under women's shoes. <laughs> and I said enough shit about women's shoes. It's just like <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, you, you you were still going like four years in, you were still going to the back one like what are wedges again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it, it's, it's like one of those jobs where like it, it once you're in, it's hard to get out. Ooh, like you the don't, mob. Yeah, you don't, you don't make enough money to like leave. Uh, sure. <laughs> and so it's just like, but also, I mean, with that, that's what I was like my first job. So I had no type of like, um, like, dedication to it because I, I had it for so long I felt like I, I couldn't get fired yeah um, uh -huh. oh nice so I would do shit like it's like high school and it's like my friends like after school they're like oh man we're you know we just got a brand new Madden game we're gonna go play it and I'd just be like man fuck work I'm not going and <laughs> <laughs> I would just sit there and play Madden I wouldn't call in or anything because I'm 16 years 16 17 years old I had no like idea that that's a bad thing sure um, yeah. and then they don't even bring it up yeah, that okay. So I was gonna say when we had Brian on, Brian Yang on, he also worked at Macy's, made that exact same point about an employee, a coworker he had who just didn't go to work for a month, no call, no show, and they just kept scheduling them. <laughs> well, he just came back, and they were just like, "Here he is. We're yeah. glad to have him." Yeah. <laughs> so, they didn't even ask me like, "What happened yesterday?" They're just like, "Oh, so you didn't come come in?" Be like, <laughs> so what happened? I mean, what yeah. happens? to the shoes when you're not there <laughs> you know <laughs> like what what did we was there someone else to theoretically cover it or are they just like who gives a shit to that like well who gives a fuck about anything that happens in this store everything will just go crazy and whenever whenever someone shows up eventually they'll just start organizing the shoes again. <laughs> yeah i mean there's always there's always a couple people working um so right. i i think it's just like the logic because it's just like nobody's gonna, today. yeah nobody's making money so then it's just kind of like if there's a, one less person there, then the people that are there making a little more money. Oh, uh, right. Because they oh, actually okay. make yeah, more commission. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, what was the commission on shoes? Uh, Man, I don't even remember. I mean, yeah. it'd probably be like, you know, if you sell like a hundred and some dollar shoe, you might get like $15 off of it. Okay, okay. So like but it would, something? But it, it was always kind of like where like your hours that you work work against that. <laughs> so like yeah, yeah. so like yeah. if you work seven hours and however much you make hourly like you have to make a certain amount per hour or else you might not get any commission yeah yeah. yeah so it's like um uh or like you, you you gotta like weigh that against if you bought a pretzel at like wetzel's pretzels in the mall <laughs> on your bike <laughs> <laughs> like that takes like seven bucks out of your like out of your fifteen dollar gain you had earlier. What was like the most expensive pair of shoes that you had? Even I'm like I would guess no more than two hundred dollars at Macy's for shoes. Um, I mean there would be some, especially like boots. There'd be some boots. That oh, like yeah, you're right. Four hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, You're always but, gunning those. Always trying to sell man, those five hundred dollar boots. <laughs> But Every it's time. like who, who who's gonna buy five hundred dollar boots from a sixteen year old kid? <laughs> <laughs> you know you want those boots. You know mm -hmm. you saw them on Oprah. That's why. Yeah. 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 The kid yeah. doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I just keep thinking about like ever since you brought this like you know kid as a salesperson at Macy's for shoes. I remember one of my um one of my good friends in high school. His dad used to own a suit store um in in uh downtown uh the downtown of where i grew up at asheville and um that suit store closed i'm pretty sure because you know it wasn't 
making enough money. Mm-hmm. And then he became uh, a suit salesman at Sears or JC Penney's or Belk's or, you know, one of those, you know, Macy's, but different stores. And I just, I just think about like that guy who like cares about suits like knows suits, like knows tailors and stuff, like has all these business connections. And now he's selling like basically men's shoes and suits. And he's working like in this, like he's got the same break room as like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a 16 year old that uh, just uh, fucked off to play Madden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just like, he's like tired. And he's trying to figure out the best sales pitch. And then like Chaz just comes up like on a skateboard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah correct it's just like yeah. we got new kids <laughs> i mean it, it just like that the job like as a whole it just like that corporation they just suck man like they make mm-hmm. you do things like um like you open up you know credit cards and stuff like that for people right like, did you do that as a sales a shoe, a shoe guy yeah and they would be like pressuring you mm-hmm. so it's like i even see people like where they would like pull people from the downtown like just homeless people walking around mm-hmm. and then just try to have them open up a credit card. Hell you know, yeah. it's just like, mm-hmm. dude, he's not buying any women's shoes. You know, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. this guy. <laughs> Did and you so, have like a quota? Yeah. Yeah. But they, they would, they would try to pressure you. It's like, Oh, like try to do, you know, two or three a day or something like that. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's crazy. And I, I remember the first day I started, I did like three. Cause uh-huh. I, you know, it's like beginner's luck. Mm, uh-huh. Yeah. So and they were like, like, oh, guy's man, a fucking yeah, ace. Gotta watch out for this a, kid. He's a amazing. Sharpshooter over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Like, I may not be here tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So, so, um, six years, like, you know, I for sure get, you know, it's my first job and I didn't know I could leave. Um, like, I, you know, that's definitely, I think, common, especially in first, second, and even third jobs. You're just sort of like, I didn't know that you could just leave jobs. I didn't know that there were other jobs. I didn't know you should just – six years is a long time. Yeah. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Did, did – did, um, was it simply that you felt like you had tenure that made you <laughs> stick around? You know, just I, like, built oh, this, I built this shoe empire. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I mean, it was one of those things where, like, since I could just like call in and not really, it's like, oh, if I didn't feel like going to work, I just yeah. wouldn't go. And then mm-hmm. when I started like doing more stand up and stuff like that, it was kind of like easy, you know, I was just, uh, I can't, I can't be here today. And so, sure. they, yeah. you know, they give you the time off, but I mean, the people you work with are, are always cool, you know, like you're in the same trenches with them, you know? So mm-hmm. they're like, kind of like, cool even though like you think about it now and it's just like man who the hell were all these (laughs) (laughs) expendable characters strangers Strangers. (laughs) like what what do you have in common with me you know (laughs) chaz what what years give or take were you there between um i would say like i'm trying to age me um but I, I, (laughs) i would say like like early like 2000 like or like to the year like around the year 2000 you think yeah yeah uh-huh so a lot of leak like, pipes like i'm trying to think of like uh like the events in the world while you were like growing <laughs> up <laughs> and you're just still just working women's shoes well it's like i like like i remember when there was the the switch over from like 1999 to 2000 and everybody <laughs> thought like this whole store is going to go under because it's all, all, right, right, all right all right all right all right all right <laughs> so you thought it was like yeah like y2k might be the end of macy's women's shoes but yeah so they're like man you better get out there and get these homeless guys to open up yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's not gonna matter two days yeah, they were like chaining up the boots, the expensive boots and stuff behind big padlocks. And stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be this whole huh. this whole thing's gonna go down. This is gonna go crazy, and they're coming right for these boots. We know. That. <laughs> and then and then they would um like and I remember with the credit cards, they would call them like loyalties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, how many loyalties did you get? And like Ooh. me, me, it's like you can have loyalty. But you can't like having multiple loyalty it doesn't exist. That's not loyalty. Yeah. So it's like how many loyalties? It's like they're making up words now. Um, and they're also just treating themselves like some crazy god. Yeah. <laughs> how many blood pledges today, Chaz? <laughs> um so like how did you leave? Um I mean, you know, you you go six years and you're like, mm-hmm. you know, time's come. Mm-hmm. 
Me and she yeah, the I just, day. I just got to the point where it's just like, uh, like I'm making no money. And so like, cause if you like fuck off a day, then like, there's no way you're going to be able to make commission. Uh-huh. So yeah. there'd be times where it's just like, no, nah, I'm just making hourly. Yeah. And yeah. it's like that fucking sucks. So then it's just like, mm-hmm. you know, I gotta get, I gotta get out of this job, you know, I'm gotta mm-hmm. like Carlitos weigh it. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so I just, I don't know. It's, I, I think I talk with somebody and they're just like, yeah, I mean, that job sucks. Like you could just, you could always just find that job, you know? So it's like, why don't you just try to find something better? Yeah, it's the thing that, be, again, that nobody remembers is that like, or it's easy to forget, especially as a kid, is like, you had the job. You know you can get the job. If you leave, yeah. you can get probably that exact same job back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like worst case scenario, a very similar job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what we've learned about Macy specifically is, Chaz, you <laughs> might still be there. You might still be an employee. For them. You could probably you know still walk I mean? in there and just be like, yeah. those boots, uh-huh. yeah. they don't uh-huh. look good. You want the $400 yeah. boots, and they'll be like, this uh-huh. guy? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, how did you, I mean, did you put in two weeks' notice, or you just, what did you, what was your um, I mean, once, once I got a, a new gig, I started working at a bank, and it was kind of like, yeah, you could put a two weeks notice in, but fuck, like, fuck that, you know, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's I, a two day notice, like, I'm yeah. not coming back, you know, it's yeah. just kind of like, they didn't like, care you when you were there, if you worked there, so, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it's like, I don't know, man, I'm gonna play Madden for two weeks, and yeah. then start my new job. Well, I know we'll have to get to your worst job, but I'm very curious <laughs> that you went, I assume, I mean, obviously, Macy's and Banks basically smell the same to me. Uh, they're not the same job you know but like they definitely have the same like um vibe which is like a suit that looks a hell of a lot nicer than it is um you know what i mean yeah. like mm-hmm. and i mean it was... this, the, the shoes they get bought at macy's they walk right into a bank branch yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. where that's what they're made for um so I'm very curious about that transition of just like oh i fucking hate it here you know what i'm not gonna hate it a place where other people wear suits and ties i'm sure i'll be required to wear at least a button-up shirt and everybody pretends like everything is great just like at macy's (laughs) yeah i mean like the the difference i mean it's a little like subtle but i like i went i worked at a credit union so they're like a mm, little better than than banks that's way better but then it's like better you know like i always had banked at credit union so it's like i learned how to manage my money right so that was like the plus for working at a bank because it's just like you make more money but then you also know like how you learn you see money people, yeah yeah you see how people waste money and so it's just like you're able to save it and and then like you're you're buying bulletproof glass so it's <laughs> uh-huh. yeah no that's uh-huh. way better than <laughs> yeah. you know just being out there in the trenches with yeah. the yeah. shoes yeah they got to hide behind like the like the sales rack <laughs> you get a stiletto to the face and, and so, like, now I'm thinking about, uh, like, also, like, I remember when I was working at Macy's and I was working on my senior project. And so I was learning how to play the piano. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like, I don't know, like, when you're so young, you're not, like, good at talking shit to grownups. <laughs> <laughs> and so I remember, like, I had to leave work because I had to go to um, piano practice. Mm. And so I was in the middle of helping this lady or I was trying to leave and this lady walked up to me with some shoes. And I was just like, kind of a throwaway, like, oh no, I, you know, I can't, I can't help you. Like, I, I gotta leave to practice the piano. <laughs> and she's like, oh, you gotta leave to practice the piano? <laughs> she fucking bullied you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I just took it and laughed. And it was like, yeah. man, fuck, like, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. fuck that lady. I don't know what she's doing now, but yeah. man, it's still like, fuck her. She's yeah. wearing a good pair of shoes, I guarantee you that. Yeah, just like she's like hella crying, like playing the piano, playing like a sad Elton John song or something. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> thinking about that. Thinking about Lady me. <laughs> Chaz Hawkins with his rendition of uh, Bitch Boy Piano Shoe Salesman. <laughs> 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 he came out like a tux and Macy's shoes, Macy's dress up shoes. <laughs> and it's like, man, like out of all that, it's like, 
like who I am not at that job and then who I was there. It's just like <laughs> this lady would never talk to me like that outside of these walls. Yeah, 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 yeah. And here like I'm bitching. Man. <laughs> oh man, what a prison. What a fucking prison <laughs> of the mind. Get owned. On your way out, no less. Yeah, on your way out. But okay, Chas, so that's that was your first job ever. What would you say is the worst job you've ever had? The worst job? Um, I mean, up until I had this job, it, it was Macy's, but uh-huh. like it was the, the post office. Oh, Interesting. Man, I, rem- I remember that. Oh, fuck, man. That, that job days. is the worst. Like, mm. So wait, what was your role at the post office? Like, I was a mail carrier, like delivering mail to people's okay. mailboxes. Go of a mail truck. Mail truck. Yeah, you know, all that. Drive, drive on the other side of the car. Uh-huh. That was the mm. that was the worst job. That's so interesting. That's the worst job, man. Like, <laughs> like, like I just like I feel bad for every time I I see one of them. Like, uh-huh. like I love like love the the people that do the job, but uh-huh. like the job, like, uh-huh. because so they have this thing because everybody thinks like mail carriers they have these great amazing hours. You know, they get off at Mm. three four o'clock or whatever Mm. um but what they do now is they hire like temporary employees and so you don't get paid the same so you're wearing the uniform but you ain't one of them they don't even give you a uniform you have to you have to like buy stuff to like look like a mail carrier and then (laughs) once you make money then you can go to their store (laughs) <laughs> they they have a mail clothes. carrier store where you can buy like mail carrier shirts. Yeah. This reminds me of the Boy Scouts. They make you buy your own fucking shirts there too. Yeah. At the store, it's like only Boy Scouts can shop here. And it's like, well, it doesn't take that much to be a fucking Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't have to pass any tests to buy a fucking button up shirt. Yeah. And so it, it's just like, like when you're, you're working that job, man, it's like every, like I, I was in, I was in LA. Um, so I was. I had a. I had another job, but I was. I wasn't making enough money, barely like covering my rent. Mm-hmm. So it was like I, I got word of that job, saw it online, like applied, and then it was like I was making like way more money. Um, but like I was saying with the temporary employees, like they'll have you working. You could work like ten, twelve hour days. Um, so it's like sometimes I would go in at seven o'clock, and I would get off at like nine ten o'clock at night jesus um, christ just delivering mail be- and and like there's no it's fucking so what happens is when you have a route you and you're one of the temporary employees like you do your route and then whoever didn't finish theirs they you have finish. you go out there and help them or like oh, if if they're like a um employee that's not temp they leave at whatever at whatever time they're supposed to mm-hmm. and then people are just like left trying to cover like what they pick, didn't do like just pick up the slack yeah so you had to go meet people on their routes and then go and like deliver the rest of their mail um so you're like delivering stuff on a route you've like n- n- never been on before is my guess yeah yeah like all the time literally every, every day you're on like different routes yeah i mean after a while you start to kind of just know all the different routes because yeah, you could be sent anywhere uh-huh. um but this is all over la yeah, I mean, like, like when I when I was carrying, I was in Venice, mm-hmm. um, so it was like all around there. But there would be times where they would outsource you and right. go to Pacific Palisades and stuff like that, and have to drive around. Like, fuck that shit. Oh God. <laughs> if they keep you on for a like a year, I think a year and a day maybe, mm-hmm. then you become um, you become permanent. Mm-hmm. So what they'll do is they'll have you work for like 360 days. And then they'll lay you off for two weeks oh my to them God. just so they don't have to give you like any like yeah, yeah, yeah. rights. Anything. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Holy crap. That yeah. sucks. <laughs> oh my God. That's awful. Yeah. I remember, I remember just like wanting to like hit mics with you then. And then just, you were like, no, nah, I got to work for another like, it's like yeah, hours. man, I don't, I don't, I don't do stand up anymore. I'm just doing this mail yeah, shit that's a, yeah. that's a great yeah. la story where you just show up to la and mm-hmm. <laughs> you're uh-huh. just doing a job like yeah. one of the worst ones you could possibly think of yeah. Yeah. for as many hours as you could possibly think and you're just like well great i'm super glad i'm in like hot trash city all the time uh for no god <laughs> and then and then i mean it's like how you would you'd be working all those hours like they'd have you buying stuff like um 
like you'd have to buy one of those like minor lights to where it's just like you put it on your hat <laughs> and it's like light up at night and uh-huh. then like you don't have any of the male clothes so you're just in like plain clothes going into people's like houses and it's just like i <laughs> It's like, you know how fucking dangerous that is? Yeah, yeah, that does not yeah. seem safe at all. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, and people wonder why dogs attack mailmen. <laughs> just, they're, just, <laughs> they're just men coming onto the property. He was wearing jeans. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, well, you're going to need one of those minor hats because there's a guy who actually lives at the bottom of a well, and he gets a lot of packages. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, I mean, that job, it's like I was making, like, a lot more money, but it's just it's mm-hmm. because, like, you're – you're working for 12 hours a day yeah, and then, yeah, yeah like you, yeah, you have no time to spend any money yeah so you're just like oh like, man, i'm doing I'm, great yeah so like did you as far as the way that it functions did you like meet at like a meeting place in the morning or was it just like you were on call like how do you actually get to the place where you know say a route is fi- not finished like that truck has mail in it still do you like how, yeah how so i mean so 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 like what would happen is like okay, you do, you do your route or they have you do like a couple hours on one route. And then once you finish, you go back to the, the annex. Mm-hmm. And then what they go is, oh, Johnson's still on route 10 yeah. and he's still got like two hours left. So right. go over there and take an hour from him. Uh-huh. Um, oh, man. And, and so- you, And then you, you get in their car or your car? No, you, 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 you take the truck that you already have. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then you go and meet him on his route and then he gives you- Um, yeah and then and then and it's like once you're there for a while then you start to realize it's like oh they told him to give you an hour but what he'll try to do is he'll try to give you an hour and a half or like (laughs) you know what i mean like and then it's like oh man fuck that dude you know like yeah as soon as he got a call that someone's coming to relieve him he literally just like parked yeah yeah awesome whenever he gets here (laughs) um okay chess that that leads me to my next question okay with that job what is the morale like amongst you and your peers like is it like a thing where is it like man doesn't our job suck and you kind of find <laughs> buddies that way or is it like no you're one of them like i like are you are you a uh, one man in an island like are you, you and your truck is the only team you got and you hate all your coworkers, or is no, it no like- i mean i mean what, what it would be is there would be like some some of the permanent employees that would be like super cool, you know? So it's just like, uh-huh. they'll help you out or stuff like that. Mm. You know, they might finish their route and then they'll go and meet you just to help you out. But then like, for the most part, it's like, you're really connected with all the temp employees yeah, uh-huh. because it's just like, you Second guys are, class. yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> you're never going to be X-Men. Yeah. <laughs> <just fucking> like, <laughs> I mean, it, well, it, I mean, it really is kind of like that because like a, a postal carrier job is such a, high benefit position if you have it because the hours end on time the pay is good it's an extremely reliable position although you know one could argue that usps is under a lot of duress right now Mm -hmm. but like in general it's just like a great fucking job and you just are never going to get it yeah 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 were there people you knew who did like were there people who transitioned to it you know was it like Um, i mean i i think i probably know of like like out of all the people I knew probably like one or two yeah. and it was like after they had like got cycled about three or four times That's fucking mm-hmm. and it's just years. like dude I'm not gonna like because like first of all like in LA everybody has a pit bull um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. like especially in Venice like mm-hmm. everybody has a, a pit bull and like every dog hates your guts like no matter what the yeah. dog could be super cool. I could see the dog when I'm not working mm-hmm. and the dog come up to me, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, I have on that outfit and then I come up and it's just it's like, like, you fucking yeah. shit. Yeah. You're like, oh, here comes the government. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The dogs hate the federal allies. That's for sure. <laughs> well, um, damn. How long did you do that? Um, did you do it a full year and then get... Uh, did, you make, did, you, did you make it through a cycle and then start up again? And be no, like, no, I definitely didn't make it through a cycle. Mm-hmm. Like I, I think, I think I did it for like seven or eight months, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. I was just like, dude, I'm fucking in LA to do stand up, mm-hmm. and all I'm doing <laughs> is delivering this mail. Like it's like uh-huh. I gotta find something else, or like because, like I mean, the weird thing is, is like okay, you're in LA, so like it there's la things that make the job cool mm-hmm. 
<laughs> so it's just like, yeah, like, sure. like, 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 like one of my friends, he was on a route and he ran into Mike Tyson and oh, Mike shit. Tyson, like just fucking chopped it up with him and like, mm-hmm. like bought him lunch. And it's just right. like, holy shit. Like, why couldn't I be like that guy, you know? Yeah, uh-huh. sure, sure, sure. Uh-huh. And then. And then it's like, you know, cause it's like, there's always like one celebrity where you feel like, man, if I ever saw them, I would just lose my shit, you know? Mm-hmm, uh-huh. sure. And I, and I always thought it was Mike Tyson. Um, mm-hmm. And then one time I was delivering mail like down like Abby Kenny and uh, uh, I, I thought I saw Naomi Campbell mm-hmm. <laughs> and I just threw the mail. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, oh shit, that like that's my person. Like and then and then so and it's like like you're in the middle of the job but you're trying to make it look like you're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a yeah. mail hat on, you're just trying to like whatever. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. You like saw you saw Naomi Campbell, you threw your mail and you just yelled out, No, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> It's like maybe you should just respect the dude with a hard working job, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. And then and then it wasn't even her. <laughs> it, was, it was the lady whose mail you were delivering <laughs> just threw her mail on the ground in front of her um yeah it's it's That's weird so- how like it's weird how your um your la dreams went from i'm moving to la to pursue stand up to like i live in la in hopes one day a celebrity will buy me lunch <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and like i i just hope that i'll freak out enough yeah. and they'll buy lunch uh-huh. and then and then and then I'll never see them again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, like a, a lot of the dudes that like a lot of people that have a job, they're like um, from like from the military, because yeah. they get like extra points for for um, when they take the test. And so it's like they have a level, uh, like a level of dedication to just service that like uh, <laughs> you will not uh, have, yeah. you know. So it's just uh-huh. like they're like, man, I deliver this mail or I die. <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> Yo, man, like everybody's lucky I'm not Paul Revere because yeah. <laughs> we would be speaking with a British accent right now. <laughs> Go. Uh, uh, wow. That is ins- that is insane. Um, all right. Well, we always make sure before you know we close the podcast to make sure to ask three questions. Uh, question number one with the postal job is when were you done? Like when did you know you had to quit? And then when did you quit? And how did you? quit um i mean it, it kind of leads like why this job was the worst so like like i was saying everybody has freaking pit bulls mm-hmm. and then like you never like with uh like black people in general we just we don't trust dogs that we don't know no, fuck <laughs> <that>. <laughs> so, no. i just <laughs> put that out there so it's kind of like like a dog, you know, I, I told them before, it's like, I feel like dogs and, and cholos, like I treat them the same way. Like they could be cool, <laughs> but sometimes they're not. And you never know which one you're going to get. Yeah, we're cool, but don't come over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> and so, um, so one time I'm, I'm delivering mail and I go to this person's house and instead of just letting me deliver it, they like open their door to get the mail, which is like, like, a big no-no you know like it's mm-hmm. yeah because it's just like you're in the mode you're just doing it and you're, you're out of there and so the person had like a pit bull and so when they open the mm-hmm. door the pit bull like runs right past him mm-hmm. and like yeah. runs right at me and like uh-huh. try like he, he he bites at my leg but because i have like on some baggy jeans he just gets the jeans uh-huh. and then uh-huh. and then so so i'm like yelling you know at the person and like they get their dog or whatever and it's just like yeah dude like why couldn't you wait a fucking second you know it's just like uh-huh. yeah like it's, it's mail you yeah. it, it's yeah. snail mail whatever you wait whatever i have you've waited forever for yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's been days there, there, there's some layers to that too like i know my personal gripe uh, and I love that Cholo Pitbull reference. That is exactly, you're exactly right on that. Yeah, yeah. It could be cool. In neither circumstance do I want to meet them for the first time on their property. <laughs> um, uh, but, but, like, I, I personally, as far as dog culture goes, like, I, I'm a dog guy. I love dogs. But love dog. I, the, yeah. the insane, like, the people's inability to even know their own dog and it's how their dog acts so you know? infuriating like it's just like if the, i bet you bottom dollar if that same person you ask them the day before like would your dog ever run out and just like bite someone they'd be like oh no well like my dog never yeah. of course not you know and and, th- and then it's like with their friends like humans when it's just like they hear a crazy story and they're like oh yeah i could see how you could do that 
but yeah. <laughs> with the tongue, they're just like, no, never, not in a million years. <laughs> but it's like, Max, no way. Max wouldn't <laughs> do that. <laughs> um, so that happened. Uh, you were thankfully not seriously oh. injured, but came within. Yeah. The- um, and so just like delivering the mail, I mean, they have you like those, the, the ads that everybody throws away. You have like stacks of those that you have to deliver with the mail. Um, and so you're walking through and you're carrying all this stuff and then you have the packages. And at the time it was before like Amazon was doing their own stuff. So it was just mm-hmm. being delivered by the post office. Mm-hmm. And so I had to go to like physical therapy because like my shoulder, I got fucked up. Fuck. Um, and it's like, I, had, I, I the total I worked there was only like seven, eight months. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, 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 yeah. And so when I'm going to physical therapy, they're like, they, they try to have you meet with one of their doctors. So the doctor could be like, oh, you're not fucked up. Go back to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but Whereas then a I, real physical therapist, the only thing they would say is like, can you not do that thing? Yeah. <laughs> like that's, I mean, yeah, they've got other, other like tips and like strategies and stuff. But like, if there's a thing that's hurting you, they're going to say, is there a way that you cannot do that? <laughs> and all they want is for that doctor to not say that. Yeah. So I end up going to like a different physical therapy place because you could, you could choose your own. You just had to like, you know, kind of fight them for it. And then like, they were saying like, oh man, we have all these carriers that come in here. Like, it's good you're coming now because some of them will wait. And it's like, they're, one of their arms is forever, like longer than the other because it, it it's out of socket and there's no way it can go back. And so. Right. Oh. Permanent stretch arm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they call that permanent stretch arm. Mr. Not Fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Old mailman arm there. <laughs> and so, I mean, it, it was like from that dog, from that dog, like bite, and then from that, and I was just like, man, fuck this shit, like, because mm-hmm. it's like I'm down here to try to become like a like a stand up, like mm-hmm. legit, and then it's just like by the time I finally get it, I'm gonna be all fucked up. I'm gonna take me like twenty <laughs> minutes to walk to the stage. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I can't even do stand up with just stand up. Yeah. yeah. It's just one of those old sit down comments. <laughs> like, that's like 20. 35. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a legend. So, so yeah. So, from that, I was just like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. And so then um, I felt like I had a legit reason, you know, to leave from both of those situations. Um, and so then when I filed, I filed for unemployment. Um, they like fought me for it. Like, mm-hmm. of like they got, they had their own like lawyer and it was kind of like some type of like kangaroo court where it was like <laughs> court over the phone. And it's just like, you just had to believe you're talking to a judge, you know, yeah, just yeah. Call right, you right. Up it's like, it's, just, it's like, our judge. It's like, you're, you recognize your supervisor's voice. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Terry. And, then, and so it's like, I explain everything to them and they're just like, yeah. Um, we we don't we still don't understand like why you couldn't just do the job mm-hmm. and it's just like i mean i had been talking for like 30 45 minutes it's like none of that stuff made you think that yeah, you know right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so just like handing like as the lawyers talking on the phone they're just handing single dollar bills like <laughs> the longer this phone, phone conversation goes on he's he just like oh yeah uh, 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 order in the court <laughs> just like slamming something on the table <laughs> it's like a big gulp <laughs> yeah <laughs> Cause, cause like, like even, even when I was, um, when I, I, I had went back after the physical therapy thing for like a, a couple of weeks when I was deciding if I was going to leave or not. And then they just gave me like a hand cart and they're like, you just put your mail in here. Yeah. Um, the, on the um, sidewalks that are super smooth and always yeah, exist yeah. in LA. <laughs> and then, and then when you take longer, they, they, they actually would send people out not to come there and help you, but just to like, talk shit to you <laughs> <laughs> they just jump and be like hey what are you why aren't you going faster and you're like yeah you can literally see i'm dragging the stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's got wheels but i'm still dragging it you're like man i mean you could go faster than that and it's just like well i mean i'm, I'm wasting time talking to you right now <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny also like especially if you, you know you did this pre-covid obviously and like if someone was driving to go see you from wherever they are in LA that took forever to get there. <laughs> yeah. like they're they're going to show, they're going to like drive like in basically like 40 minutes. Yeah. Just to show up <laughs> yeah. to your face and talk shit. Mm-hmm. They're like, we left yesterday just to come here to talk shit to uh-huh. you right now. <laughs> Talk about awful inefficiency of in every category. 
and then and then it's like one of those things where when they first show up you're like thinking like oh cool man i got some people here to help me <laughs> 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 Fucking shit uh-huh. on you. Uh-huh. He's just kicking your cart. <laughs> like, hey, man, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> like giving it flat tires. Uh-huh. Uh, man, that sucks, dude. <laughs> so oh, did you put so in awful. like a two-week notice or something? Or like did you just like... like you uh, I mean, I mean, with, with, with that, it was kind of like... I just felt like uh, if I put my two-week notice in there, like and I get fucked up, then it's just like... Yeah, I'm I'm just over this because, yeah, 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 uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. and it, and it's like you know like they're not like they weren't trying to help or anything like that. So I was just like, yeah, why well, protect them? Yeah, I just I saved up as much as I think I needed to like survive. Yeah, for mm-hmm. a period of time, and then I was just like, yeah, fuck that, man. Like fuck that and the mail. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that in the mail. Yeah, do fuck that mail. Do fuck the mail. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like it's it's so inefficient like you know they have that satchel and it's just like remember when everybody had one of those gap backpacks <laughs> and then they realize like it fucks your shoulder up so they stop yeah, letting yeah, kids yeah. carry them it's just like they're just yeah. like nope we've been doing this for a hundred years <laughs> yeah, yeah. we have a sack like a flower <laughs> sack that you can basically carry around like, um, look, we were gonna give you a horse, okay? Be glad you got a car. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn. All right. Well, question number two is: What's one good thing you took from that very bad job? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so there, 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 like one time that was cool was that I was doing a route and it was like um, Barack Obama. Had, had came to LA mm-hmm. and so they the motorcade their route went on the same like that I was on mm-hmm. yeah. so I mean I got to see it <laughs> see the motorcade I got to see you know and it's like you know like the same thing like from like my friend that saw Mike Tyson is like I think like like you never know what's gonna happen. You know, you, know, you yeah. have those stupid ass LA dreams where it's just like Brock might be driving, and then he goes, "Oh, hold on, hold on, stop!" And then he like gets out the car and fucking salutes me or something like. That. Well, you <laughs> didn't do that. No, the oh, cop was man. like, "Stop delivering mail right now!" Like, what happens is they have like a, a cop that kind of sees where they're gonna be going, mm-hmm. and so I'm like delivering mm-hmm. mail, and I think the motorcade's like two minutes away, mm-hmm. and it was, like motorcycle cop, and he's like, "Hey, stop delivering mail." <laughs> stop and it's like well i don't want to like have the presidency and it's like no look it's not working <laughs> <laughs> i was like yeah. i don't know what to do so i just like stopped you just, was, you just stood off to the side and saluted yourself <laughs> <laughs> just stood like here it goes <laughs> so he, just, he just saw a, one of the several limos that he was likely to be in <laughs> Oh, oh, damn, Chaz, you met Brock Obama? No, but I was close. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I got his license plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but he saw me getting yelled at by a cop. <laughs> <laughs> and later, by my supervisor. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is the, uh, that is, uh, one, that is the, <laughs> That is the worst, best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Taken from a no job. No that question. is the worst one. That is so sad. <laughs> like, like, what are people taking from it? Like, what? Like, like some, some people, people like, like, it's like, like, okay, if it, let's say your bank job was the worst job, the, uh, an answer we would get is like, I learned how to manage money by watching people fail at managing money. You go, oh, right. that is a great quality. But or like, I learned self respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like you just like he's he saw Barack Obama's car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, dude, I'm so sorry they treated you like shit. That is the fucking worst story. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. That's why that's the worst job. It's like there's, you take. I mean, the best thing is like when you're not there. You know, uh-huh. just like, uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. for sure, man. Thank you, Jazz. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys just feel bad. You're going to stop this podcast after yeah, this. Like, yeah, yeah, we can't do this anymore. It's too depressing. This is a story. It's too tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I just also love that your friend saw Mike Tyson and you didn't see anybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, okay. Okay, so uh, question number three, not related to that bad job, thank God, is um, 
Well, here's how the question goes normally is uh, if you had to give up on your dreams um, and you had to pick like a new job or a new direction, what might that be? We've all kind of uh, given up on comedy for at least a while. Um, but, um, but let's just say that it's a, per- it's a guaranteed permanent thing. Like comedy doesn't really exist anymore. It, if you had to pick like a new way, you know, what, what might that be? Man. Uh, I don't know, like a, probably like a, like a startup, like help, like a something to, to help people. Um, it's okay. Start, st- like a s- startup to help people. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> like a GoFundMe that I could just get money and then like not use mm-hmm. it for what? Um, I'm just playing. But <laughs> for what they say, what they say it's for. <laughs> no, but I mean like, you know, probably something with like, ed- like I think education, like helping mm-hmm. Do you have experience in any education or anything? I mean, or ha- ha- have you? Yeah. I mean, I've, you know, helped like people enlist to go to college and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Um, like just like friends or like people, you know, friends, family members, just like um, help them kind of make those decisions. Yeah. 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 And I mean, it's always like, you know, so that's something that you you feel good about and it's like in the long run it's going to help them out so they don't ever uh, get a job at the post office. absolutely yeah so like i mean yeah, yeah. that's a real uh-huh. thing like like career counselor i mean like uh, i know that like you know the, obviously those positions exist in high schools and most of those people kind of suck but um i'm sure there's some good ones and maybe there's also like a like a like you know like there's private places that people do college prep or or, or whatever i don't know what yeah that is mm-hmm. I mean, it wouldn't have to be such like a like a defined type thing because it's sure. just like there's a lot of a lot of areas that you can help people in. Um, For sure. Because like you know, like I was saying with, when I worked at the bank, it's like to learn like all that information about financial mm-hmm. um, things like that. Like, like I, if you know that earlier on, it it helps you along the way because it's just For like sure. if you know how to manage money or not even necessarily that, but like just seeing not how lose people. It. Yeah, see how people waste their money. It's just like it helps you not do that, or you know. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say like, and not again, like not to. I'm not trying to like tell you what your dream would be, but it's like as long as I've known you, uh, you've always been uh, one of the best people I've ever known at learning from other people's mistakes. And that that was like kind of the mm. point I was driving back home with the bank thing. Is like you've always been like, like if someone says, "Hey, don't walk over that hole. You're gonna fall into the ground." Chaz won't walk over it, whereas I might. Like, yeah, like you, you know what I mean? So, so it's like, so, so it's like, uh, so it is interesting to even like, if you don't have a specific idea that that your thing was just like, I know how to avoid trouble. So I'm going to help other people. Do it. But, yeah. You yeah. Know. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that mm-hmm. any more defined than that. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Um, great. Well, uh, Chaz, where can people find you on the internet? If you'd like to be found? Um, I mean, you could find me on YouTube. Um, I, I have a, a website also chazhawkins.com i would say i have shows coming up but none of us have none of us do. Shows. i mean <laughs> <laughs> there's like zoom shows but I, I don't know about those they don't really work for yeah, me yeah, um, yeah yeah but awesome dude uh, well, thanks thank for you. being on dude yeah, yeah thanks yeah, so much course, man mm-hmm. i've been a fan so it's good to, to be on yeah, I'm just I'm so glad to hear that. One of the one of the one hundred. Yeah. <laughs> it's me and that guy in Zimbabwe. Uh, <laughs> um and you know, fuck this place. Yeah, fuck this place. Yeah, fuck those places. <laughs> <laughs>